guys, so I loved all your vlogs, and I have really sad news. I was just going to write it on Facebook and send you a message or whatever, but then I decided I can just vlog really quick, because when I vlog <coughs> on my phone, I can upload it pretty fast to YouTube, so it doesn't take very long. Anyway, I have sad news because I don't have your package. It's at the freaking post office. So I'm a little irritated, in case you can't tell about that. And the reason why that happened is so we get, so sometimes we get a notice in our mailbox from our manager's office that they have a package for us. But sometimes the post office will leave a note that it's like, oh, we tried to deliver this package and you weren't home, so we took it back to the post office and we can re-deliver it if you sign this piece of paper and give it to us. Well, there was a lot of confusion about how many packages we had, because my roommate had ordered some and my mom sent me a package and all this stuff. So I went to the office to go get stuff, and then they were like, we don't know anything about that, that note, because I had a note from the post office and then I had a note from my manager's office. And so I got the packages from the manager's office, but I still had the one from the post office. So yesterday, I put, I because you could sign that and tell them to re-deliver it, because it said that it had to be signed. And all we knew was that it was addressed to Carol, because it says, like, who it's addressed to and who it's from. And it said Carol. And I was like, I don't know. I'm not expecting a package, but I was like, but it is my birthday. So I could be getting a package. So I wasn't really sure. But then it said who it was from. It said Raffles. And my roommate, Ashley, was like, do you know who Raffles is? What the heck is that? And I was like, I have no idea. And so I signed it. Anyway, so I signed it, told the post office to re-deliver it, put it in the mailbox, thinking that they'd pick it up because it's signed. And when I got back home last night, because we're not home during the day. So when I got home last night, it was still in the mailbox. And I was super irritated because I could have gone to the post office yesterday because I had time that I could have if I would have left my house earlier than I did. But today, I don't have time to go to the post office to go pick it up. And I don't really want to go to the post office tomorrow because I was like, I don't even know what this is. But then last night, I was like, wait, raffles? That's from Chloe because when you sent me that postcard, it said raffles on it. And so I was like, oh, no, it's a package from Chloe. And I was so mad that I didn't have it because it came like last week, like Friday or something. And so it's at the post office. I may, I don't know if the post office is open tomorrow. I have to find out. And I may just have to go pick it up tomorrow because I'm sure that that note is still going to be in my mailbox tonight. And then I'll just go pick it up tomorrow because I won't mind going to the post office to pick up a package when it's a package from you. So I'm really sad I haven't gotten to watch that last uh, vlog that you posted because I don't even have the package, let alone I wouldn't open it until tomorrow anyway. I have two presents from my mom to open, too. So tomorrow I should be able to make a pretty fun blog, vlog, vlog, whatever. Anyway, so yeah. So that's why uh, I haven't watched that last one. And this apple is really good. It's a Honeycrisp one. They're kind of expensive. But I decided that I'd rather pay more and get an apple that tastes really good than chance it being really mealy and not good. So, I eat expensive apples now. And it's really good. You can hear how crispy it is, baby. You probably didn't want that up close of my face. Okay, bye.